Shippe valle, shippe A series of photographs that I entitled Souvenirs of a Recent Time, Amen Tire Dintrun Trecut Recent, were taken in various cities of Romania over the period 1974-1976. These pictures were in part inspired by a style of street photography that I had developed in two earlier works, those called City Over Two in Philadelphia and Jerusalem's people in public. All three series play on the anonymous photographer walking through a city streets, looking for moments and recording them. That commonality, that they're all pictures taken in public spaces of various cities, each of course differs from the other. It's Romania of the 1970s, to say the least, it was a very interesting place to live. It was the heyday of the Ceausescu regime. Doresc de asemenea să adresez mulțumiri inițiatorilor și organizatorilor acestei mare manifestări populare din București, considerând aceasta ca o... Alo! Alo! Zeci de blocuri, rând în soare argintii, zeci de blocuri, în zor de zi, suia gale, pe albastrele cărări macarale Suie în zări, neîncetat Până în sera Uite brațul lor de fier Cum ridică până la cer Zeci de blocuri, un cartier Auzi, cântă voios o mândră fată Cântul ei cel nou a cuprins țara toată Prăjit mă uit a ea La mâna-i mică ce ridică-n ce Cea mai grea Macara Macarale Rânde-n soare argintii Macarale În zor de zi Suia gare pe albastrele cărări macarale Suie în zări O macara În ce tine For me, I was particularly interested in a kind of um, this surreal that I found in the pictures I made for the souvenirs of a recent time. My first Romanian photographic experience in the street was that I stationed myself by a wall just to watch the passerbys and 
started indiscriminately photographing different people and the shadows that they cast as they walked by. Unbeknownst to me, this wall is right next to the house of the Romanian security. It's like their FBI. In a little bit of time, I was surrounded by three or four agents and rushed off somewhere. My camera is confiscated, my film taken. I was held at gunpoint and was questioned for several hours as to why I had been taking photographs at that particular spot. Intertwined with the cityscapes, I also began photographing kind of a romanticized vision of the Romanian countryside. And in a sense, it wasn't that difficult to have a romanticized vision because it was something like out of one of the great paintings of Romania's tradition of romantic paintings from the late 19th and early 20th century, people like Grigorescu. And those pictures. I liked very much because they were very lyrical for me, different from the straightforward sort of documentary pictures I was taking of the Jewish community, and also captured a souvenir of a recent time, a way of life that would eventually change in the countryside. Farmers still used uh, horses and wagons and carts. Goodbye. 